the news read by Leopold Munende. In the news today, MDC moves to ring fence Nelson Chamisa. Mnangago in trouble, says Chamisa. The opposition MDC, led by Nelson Chamisa, has moved quickly to ring fence the party leader by resolving to literally ban any legal challenges and resolutions made at the party's just ended Congress in Gweru. The MDC said members must exhaust internal remedies before seeking external solutions. The resolutions read out by National Chairperson Tabita Kumalo added that any aggrieved member needs to have been a paid-up member in the prior year, among other barriers created. The move is probably aimed at stemming the tide of legal challenges, one of which brought before the High Court by Elias Mashavira almost torpedoed the Congress. Congress resolved that notwithstanding any law, uh, law right or circumstances, no member shall institute any legal proceedings I repeat, any legal proceedings or commence any external complaints, I repeat, or commence any external complaints or proceeds without exhausting all domestic remedies provided for in the Constitution. In addition, no member shall institute any legal proceedings or complaints unless such member is fully paid fully paid up member and has been a fully paid up member in the preceding year before any such action. Any member violating this shall be deemed expelled from the point of instituting of such proceedings. President Emerson Mnangagwa has trouble brewing for him after the election of a strong and incorruptible leadership by the opposition, MDC party leader Nelson Chamisa said Monday. In his acceptance speech at the end of the Congress, Chamisa, while admitting the process has given him the best political brains in the country, it could spell doom for his ZANU-PF counterpart. I feel sorry for Mnangakwa. With this type of leadership, I feel sorry for our competition. I feel sorry. The MDC's Congress, which ended in Gweru Monday, ushered in a new leadership, which, besides Chamisa, includes Vice Presidents Tendai Biti, Washman Ngube, and Lynette Kore. Biti is a non political rabble rouser, while incoming Deputy National Chairperson Job Sikala is another well known radical. Others elected to the MDC National Standing Committee are Secretary General Charlton Wende, a key Chamisa ally. Treasurer General David Coltart and National Chairperson Tabita Kumalo. The Youth Assembly also ushered in a new radical leadership that could be ready to take daredevil risks against Munangagwa's government. For this and more stories, you can visit our website www.newzimbabwe.com. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Newzim TV, and follow us on Twitter at Newzimbabwe.com. <laughs> Oh